good morning YouTube it's actually not morning it is afternoon and I'm headed over to a system that has some kind of an issue I believe they described it as a moose call um, I don't know that I've been here before but it is a customer that I've done some service for at one time. Um, trying to remember, I believe that I had been over to a house that they were building. Kind of weird that it <laughs> isn't the same address, but anyway. Um, they say they have a moose call. So, I'm going to head over there and see what this moose call is all about. Give the system a checkup and bring you along for the ride as I may. I think that's proper English. Anyway, stay tuned and we'll see you in a minute. HVAC with Stephen Rarden is sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. Well, we've got a pretty unassuming three and a half ton Lennox. Nothing crazy or drastic about it. But they say that there's a screeching of brakes whenever they turn the heat on. The air handler is a little bit of a different story. So this unit is zoned. Got three zones. It is an X13 blower motor, and that supply plenum is, I don't know, maybe 16 inches. Kicks off to the side, and then on the return, we've got three returns coming in. A six, and then two 14s maybe. Obviously this one over here is Pretty well boogered up, but they're complaining. They're complaining that the room to my right, which is to the left of the air handler, does not get much in the way of airflow. And then one of the bedrooms on the second floor, towards the front of the house on that same side, also doesn't get much airflow. But this room on the third floor blows like crazy. There's really no good way to troubleshoot it. Up there we've got very little room to work. Basically no room to work. And so we really don't know what's going on there. The only way that I'm going to be able to figure out what's going on with the front second floor bedroom is to try to crawl back there and see if there's some damage with the duct there. If there's no damage here, it would have to be in the ceiling or something like that. I can feel a little bit of air, but not a whole lot. it looks like this is a fresh air or dirty air coming from outside with no kind of control 
So I got my troubleshooting cut out for me. So I squeezed myself through that little hole over there so I could take a closer look at this duct disaster and I don't understand how this would ever work efficiently. We've got a Y fitting there, We've got another Y fitting here, splitting off to another Y fitting here. And one of these ducts, either this one going under here, or that one, is presumably the second floor front bedroom that has poor air distribution. And if it's this one, it's not surprising that it's got poor air flow. If it's this one here, it's not really surprising either. The only thing that I could possibly think to suggest would be to take this crap out and start over with a trunk line that had takeoffs. Probably a round trunk and get rid of this spaghetti mess here so that the trunk had a tie-in back there close to the utility space. It's just not pretty. So, as you can see on these reports, the refrigerant charge is off for the heating and cooling. Both, both modes of operation are running a little low. But we're going to look at the opportunity to address the airflow issue prior to making any changes with the refrigerant charge. So I'm going to work up a quote and see what what we can come up with there. Don't expect anything else to come popping up this evening so we'll sign off for now. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Don't forget you can use coupon code R-A-R-D-O-N at truetechtools.com to save 7% on your purchase. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.